morning, Buchanan. I'm Megan Hoops. And I'm Taylor Brunzel. Here are your morning announcements. The 14th annual book drive will take place from December 7th to the 16th. This is Ida Petrosian. Bears, it's that time of year again for the Books from Bears book drive. Be in and talk to the student from the Bear Necessity store to find out more. This is our 14th year running our Bears book drive and we have brought in over 120,000 books over that time period and we have been known as the largest book drive in the Central Valley. Our book drive is starting December 7th and it will be a week and a half long, so it will end on December 16th, but we will do a last sweep on December 19th. You can bring in new and used books, it doesn't really matter, no dictionaries and no Bibles. Please drop them off in your fourth grade class. The books will be going to Toys for Tots, Reading Hearts, and Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and they could also be going to our elementary schools around the area. The class that brings the most books in will be receiving a pizza party or a donut party, but we are still pushing for other things that you might want. Talking about the book drive, it kind of ties in with during the same week, you will also be having a holiday sale. It will be on December 14th. You can come in from 10.30 to 5.30, and you have to bring five brand new books in, and they have to be children's books, and you can get 10% off your whole purchase. Congratulations to the girls cross country team who took first place in the Division I state championship. Attention Bears, yearbooks are still available to order for $95 until January 27th. For more information, visit the BHS website under the Students and Parents tab. Students, do you have Mrs. Beeks for a teacher? BNN wanted to find out more about this new Buchanan instructor. My name is Mrs. Beeks and I teach Math 1 and Engineering here at Buchanan. This is my fifth year teaching. This is my first year here at Buchanan and I got into teaching because I love helping others. I tutored a lot in high school and in college and I found out that I could actually do that for a living. I could teach other students and so that became a passion of mine that turned into a career. I got my degree in engineering at Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo and so teaching math and engineering is kind of the perfect combination of my two passions in life. So this has been a really good fit here at Buchanan. I recently got married and so my husband and I enjoy traveling. He's also a teacher so it's nice to have the same breaks. We enjoy kind of getting out of the valley for a little bit and relaxing at the beach or in San Francisco or in the mountains. So we really enjoy just kind of taking a break and escaping for a little bit. Here at Buchanan, we have an energy academy, and so one of the pathways in that academy is the engineering pathway, and I'm really excited to be teaching that. There are several courses, so if you are interested in joining our pathway, I'd highly encourage you to talk to your counselor about it and get involved because it is such a fun way to learn with a hands-on experience and really get to know if engineering is something for you. The Final Harmony Show will take place today. Congratulations to everyone who participated. The last couple weeks of the first semester are approaching fast. Finals week is in two weeks and we will have a different bell schedule. All periods are on Monday and Friday, periods 1 and 4 are on Tuesday, periods 2 and 6 on Wednesday, and periods 3 and 7 are on Thursday. We will be back with sports after this. Hi, my name is Christopher Betancourt, and I'm your Bear Spotlight. Well, I've been playing golf my entire life, but I didn't start playing competitively until about six years ago. I've always been around the game because my dad was always, he always taught me growing up, and it's just always been fun to me, and it's always something I can do with my family, and my spend a lot of good time with my friends as well. well the most intriguing thing about playing golf is um, definitely like, I mean, obviously, playing well in any sport is always fun. So I think that when I play well and you hit the ball at the center of the face, there's just not another feeling like it. It's just it's the greatest feeling in the world to me, and it's always fun being out there with my friends and playing, like, I don't know, playing all day long. We'll, we'll spend, like, eight hours out there if we really want to, and it's just a great, great way to pass time, especially when I'm bored. Well, some of my past accomplishments is I recently just committed to uh, Fresno State for golf for the class of 2028. And um, I'm really excited. My brother is also on the team, so I get to play one year with him at Fresno State. And um, another one of my biggest accomplishments is that I recently just qualified for the uh, Nota Begay Junior Golf National Championship. It'll be on uh, Golf Channel December 7th from uh, 4 to 6 o'clock p.m. In the future, I definitely plan on taking this past college. I want to make this, I want to be a professional, I want to be the best of the game. And I, I take it very seriously at some times. I mean, I like to have a lot of fun. 
but it's also something that I, I really want to do for a living and something that I want to play for the rest of my life for sure. Thank you, Buchanan, for making me your Bear Spotlight. Do you know of someone who would be a good candidate for Bear Spotlight? Contact Mr. Pierce for more information. I'm sorry, Pierce. I don't think I'm gonna make it home for Christmas. What? Yearbook. You saved Christmas. Bears, make sure to get a yearbook before they're all gone. Visit the Prodigy Board Shop at Sierra Vista Mall. Open 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday to Saturday and 12 to 6 p.m. Sunday. Happy Holidays from Sid's Christmas Tree Farm. Get your real Christmas trees and more now through Christmas Eve. Bears, come check out the time machine with past and present collectibles. Open December 1st through 30th. Hey Bears, this week's Bear Talk question is, what is your favorite breakfast food and why? Mine is French toast, because I don't get to eat it that often. What's your favorite breakfast food and why? Probably cereal, because it's just, it's really good. French toast. Why? It's like toast, but like with the kick, you know what I mean? What? It will probably be bagels, because it's like, you don't really have to do much, you know? You just yeah. get some sour cream, you know, put some sour cream. Sour cream? Yeah. You don't eat it with sour cream, bro? No, with cream cheese. No, sour cream. I eat mine with sour cream, bro. It, it's bomb. There ain't no way. Yeah. Ain't no way, bro. Sour cream, bro. It's like croissants and pastries. Sorry? Croissants and pastries. Sorry? Croissants and pastries. Are you, are you saying croissant? Croissants. 
<laughs> what are you saying? Like what? you know that you know that. Describe it. Like it's like it's like you get the dough and you start and you roll it and you roll it across itself. You know you open it up. You put whatever you want inside there. And what's it called? Uh, well you guys would probably know it better as croissant. Oh, croissant. <laughs> what is your favorite breakfast food and why? Um, everything. Breakfast burritos from Bonanno. They're local, helping the the school out. Just love to enjoy them. Waffles because I think they taste really good and I like syrup with them. My favorite combo, me personally, is cornflakes with eggs on the side, and then sometimes I kind of like mix it together. And they put it in the microwave for only 50 seconds. Only 50 seconds. Make sure you only go 50. All right. Go. I know. I know. What, I know you're talking about. Do not I go know 51. You're... This is Nathan Getman at the news desk. The Unbearables are hosting improv shows every other Friday at lunch. The next show will be December 16th in the Library Lecture Hall. Attention Bears, the canned food drive will be taking place between December 5th and the 15th. Donations can be dropped off during your third period classes. Thanks guys, back to you. We're back with sports. Boys Soccer takes on Sanger at home this Tuesday, December 13th. The Zinking Classic Wrestling Tournament will take place from December 15th through the 17th in the West Gym. Boys basketball is on the road against Selma on Thursday, December 22nd. The Powder Puff football game will take place Thursday, December 22nd at the Veterans Memorial Stadium. Let's take it outside for a sports interview. Hi, my name is Aiden Hinojos and today I interviewed Diane Gonzalez with Varsity Wrestling. A personal goal is to make it to state and hopefully make it to the state finals and win a state championship. Uh, the team is looking pretty good. We have about 50 to 60 boys and then there's five girls this year. So we're working pretty hard in the room and we're just trying to like, continue to be the best in the state. I'd say the hardest competition would be the duel that we have in Poway. It's going to be in January or the Clovis High duel that we have also in January and it's called the big one. So we're hoping to beat Clovis again and then beat Poway again this year. Uh, yeah, I'm looking to go to college for wrestling, hopefully Columbia. That's like the, my main goal or anywhere else that has like a good program for what I want to study and ha that has a good wrestling program. And now it's time for scores. That's all for today, Buchanan. We hope you have an amazing Friday. This is Taylor Brunzel. And Megan Hoops, signing off. Take care, Buchanan. Does your camera have cinematic mode? I don't think so. <laughs>